welcome back to Shake It Till You Make It, where we're breaking down classic cocktails down to their foundation so we can understand the balance of why they work and how to use that so we can create our own. Today, we're talking about the Whiskey Highball. This drink could not be easier to make, so let's get right to it. So we got our scotch, need our measuring cup, some club soda or seltzer, and we'll build it in a highball glass. Now, really when you make a whiskey highball or scotch and soda, it's not that you're diluting it, you're bringing out other flavors. It's really about ways to enjoy the whiskey. Let's just make it and then we'll get into all of that. Two ounce, oh wait, no, first I'm gonna add an ice cube. I'm getting ahead of myself, I'm just so excited. First we're just gonna add an ice cube. It does not go all the way down. This drink could not be easier to make. Two ounces of your scotch. Give it a quick mix, just so that it starts to get cold as you add in the other ingredients. Two more ice cubes, I think. or one more, whatever your glass allows. Ooh, oh. <laughs> Four ounces of your seltzer. Give it a quick stir. Mix it up. Straw. Different straw. That's it. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's really good. It's like textured and really it's all about the scotch. I mean, doers is doers. It's uh, reliable. It's, it's delicious. Yeah, and it's so easy. Like I said, this drink is super easy to make, but the devil is really in the details and the technique, the glass, the ice, how you bring those into the drink is really what makes it special. But Whiskey Highball is is a template. It's, it's meant to be used to create all types of different drinks. As long as you're keeping the ratio together of the two to one mixer to spirit, you know, for the most part, you're really gonna be keeping these drinks together. And these are drinks like the Screwdriver, which is vodka and OJ, the Mimosa, Champagne and OJ, a Bloody Mary, tomato juice and vodka, Greyhound, which is gin and grapefruit juice, rum and coke. And then you can get a little bit more advanced if you want by splitting the mixer up into two. You know, I like to think everyone has at some point created their own version. Created their own version. Created their own Creeping around your parents' liquor cabinet, trying it, realizing that it needs to be mixed, and, and grabbing the first juice you could find. For me, I made a screwdriver. Sorry, Mom. It was disgusting. These are technically in the whiskey highball family. Obviously, uh, the proportions of my uh, screwdriver were off, but I didn't know that. There are ways to make these delicious, to enhance them and build them up to an elevated drink than just a regular rum and coke or an easy gin and tonic. So why don't we do just that? All right, so we're gonna make a, what is actually a super popular whiskey highball is the gin and tonic. We're gonna make it elevate it. You know, we're gonna add in other flavors while still keeping the right proportions to make it a proper whiskey highball and fall into that two to one mixer to spirit ratio. So we're gonna do a gin and tonic with some cucumber and rosemary. It's gonna fit in the glass. A couple slivers of cucumber. Save one of these for the garnish. Always very important, can't forget. Twig of rosemary. Two ounces of gin. Squeeze a little bit of lime in there. Mix that together. Put in our second large ice cube. Goal is four ounces of tonic water. Now, if you don't get to the four ounces, that's okay. You do wanna to just top it off, so I'm gonna do that. Mix it together so not everything's at the bottom. A garnish. Gin and tonic with cucumber and rosemary. It smells delicious. It's great. The lime and the tonic together are really sweet. 
and the rosemary and the cucumber help to balance that out. It's an easy way to elevate and bring more into what is just a simple gin and tonic. Now it's time for another really famous whiskey highball template, the rum and coke. Instead of just doing rum and coke, we gotta spice it up a little bit. So we'll make the Cuba Libre. It's just rum, Coca-Cola, and a little bit of lime. I think it's fun to, to muddle the Cuba Libre in the glass. You're gonna get the juices in the drink and, you know, show off a little bit if you're making something like this. We'll cut up the limes. The recipe itself calls for about a quarter ounce of lime juice, two ounces of rum. Mix that together. You know, don't want all the limes at the bottom of the glass completely. Oops. Add another ice cube. It calls for four ounces, but where we are, we know it's gonna fill it to the top. So just pour it directly into the glass. It saves some of the carbonation because you're not doing it from cup to cup to cup. You got a Cuba Libre. It's delicious. It's so good. I mean, I can't remember the last time I had a Coca-Cola. It's refreshing and and the tartness of the lime brings out um, the Coca-Cola and the rum and it's a nice touch. And that's it. Those are some easy whiskey highballs elevated in easy ways just by adding a couple other garnishes and adding some fruits and you can really do whatever you want, you know. The whiskey highball, again, is just a template, a two to one ratio of mixer to spirit that is your playground. So come up with something cool, let us know. We'd love to try whatever it is and we'll see you next time. I'm gonna bring this with me, cheers. Oh man, did you forget to like and subscribe? There's still time. 